All right. Then we're going to cover in this in this lesson the VBA message box. So this is how you create a message box. So we're going to type a public and sub and a just for just for starters. If you haven't gotten to this point, uh, you press alternate F11 to get into the Visual Basic editor and uh, add a new module. So public sub and then uh, message box. Message box one and then uh, message box uh, hello user. Okay, you probably heard of the, the infamous hello world, but we're going to change it to just be hello user. And then run it. So then we run it, and then we get a hello user as the uh, the name, and then okay. Now you probably notice the yellow, yellow button, uh, the yellow marker that popped up. But if I press F8, I'm actually stepping through the code. And if I want to see exactly what's going on, I may want to step through the code. So I go to public sub message one, hello user. I go to the next one. I press F8 again, hello user, and I click OK. And I'm going to the next line of code, and sub, then end. If I want to go real quickly through this, I go ahead and I press F5. Okay, so F8 goes slowly. And if I want to comment this out, I'm going to say F8. I'm going to comment this out. F8 uh, step through code. And F5, F5, let's see if I can get the right uh, run code. Okay, so F8 steps through code. And F5 runs through it. Now, if I get a little bit more detailed, Let's see, it's going to be this. I'm going to just copy and paste this particular code here. Okay. And straighten this out. Okay, now, this is a little bit more detailed. I'm going to say, uh, this is a little bit more advanced. So, I have the message box. Advanced, I'm just going to call it ADV. Public sub message box advanced. So now, SDR file name. Actually, I have a dimension SDR file name. So, dim SDR file name. And dim is a, I'm dimensioning a portion of memory for that. So, dim SDR file name as string. But I'm not gonna, not gonna say what it is. So I'm gonna step through the code by pressing F8. I think I already said that. So F8. That's uh, at the very top of your keyboard. Those function keys, which you don't think do anything, but they actually do. Then I'm gonna step through the code. Is there, if I hover over a variable, I can see what it is. This is blank. So the str name is blank. So I hear I'm using the if. And if str file name is blank, which it is, then no file was selected. Okay. Notice it says VB critical and no file. Watch the uh, way the best spot looks. Okay. Do you see this X right here? Well, that's a critical uh, message box, and no file is the title. No file was selected. So then I want to exit the sub, 
and it never it goes it goes out of the sun. so any if you have any other code after this uh, it won't run because you've exited the sub so uh, no file was selected with my message here I have a, a VB critical that's a default right here and they the title title is this if you're concerned about well how am I supposed to know remember the VB critical things well, I'm going to go ahead and, it, if whenever you get here, I'm going to press my arrow down key, and here are all the message box I can go to. Okay, uh, there are quite a few, so you really don't need to, don't need to remember it, what it is. If you're running inside of Excel, you're probably going to, if you're running inside of Excel, you don't need to use the EDOM. Or you don't need to know what the number is. So you just need to know. Because each of these terms stands for a number. That's why you saw V critical is uh, 16. So I could use a. I mean you could test out all of these. And see what, what they all do. Uh, this gives you three buttons. The, gosh. This gives you. Let's see. <clears throat> Excuse me. That gives you three buttons. The yes, no, cancel. Yes, no. System modal. Registry, cancel. Retry, cancel. Question. Okay, only. Cancel. Okay, you probably see those in a lot of, in, in your Windows. Uh, in your Windows applications. So you can really customize this. And then uh, go ahead and choose one. If you choose this one, you press your tab key. Okay, so you're choosing that one. Here I want, again, I'm going to just choose VB critical. I press, I, I go select it, I use my down arrow to select it, and I press, or I can use my mouse to select it, and then press tab, or press comma. Okay, then I press uh, comma again, I go into the title argument. So here I went for prompt. The argument is whatever's highlighted at that time. So prompt the type, the title, and a help file if that applies. But uh, normally I don't use that. Help file in context, I don't use that. And it's all a VB message box result. So I don't ever use that as well either. Okay, but that's uh, if you want to get into the the uh, whatever Visual Basic programmed in, that's what you need this with .dot net. Okay, you need to know this, but uh, you don't need to know that with the uh, VBA because uh, it's relevant. So, uh, I have this exit sum, uh, since I don't have, uh, since I don't have any other code, I could actually just leave it out. Okay, comment it out. Again, by putting the apostrophe before. Okay. That's, uh, that's great. That's all for this lesson. Thanks for watching.